Well, another FAR 7 iron, <laughs> and we've been working you up the ladder. Uh, we got another rung. T100, T100 T200. So we got one more. This is probably not made for you, but probably a lot of your pro partners. Cool. T300. T300. All right, different back. Yeah, so now, as the first generation T300 has proven, a cavity back construction is still a popular construction, right? Yeah. So this is our biggest, most forgiving cavity back construction. It also uses max impact, although in a different form. So now the max impact is integrated into one piece with the face and the body. Okay. So versus we had a, a forged face insert, which was separate in the T200. Here, the face is integrated in with the body and the max impact technology okay. into one piece. The face also, we're, we've carved a little bit more weight out of the face as well to make it a little bit faster, especially on off-center hits, which then allows us to use more tungsten and then pump up the MOI, lower the CG, give you all the speed and height. This thing looks like it's going to go high and far. It has the... I hope so. It has the look. Proof's in the pudding, right here. Yeah, so it's a little bigger, offsets a little bit more. Right. But it's so, not crazy. Again, it's for, for, yeah. for a certain player, that look gives confidence, which you yeah, talked about earlier, sure. like that, that, that thick top line for some players in this category yeah, this inspires is confidence. Ideal. Okay. <laughs> I might be able to go catch that if I was fast <laughs> enough. Oh, the ball speed on that was kind of funny. That was 135 <laughs> or 98 cover. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. <laughs> I couldn't have swung it a lot smoother. That's what we're looking for. Jeez, this is where nice. it's not just about making it stronger, because if it's stronger and lower, yeah, it's not it doesn't help any good. Yeah. So you see all that launch in there, and then you can use the face. It looks like it's floating. I know it's a little in the wind, but it looks like it's floating, and it's not. <laughs> it's spinning 1,000 RPMs less than yours. Yeah. That's and going 25 13, yards far. 13 feet higher and... 20 yards further? Yeah, I mean, 197 on that <laughs> one. Man. Yeah, that crack makes you think you're smashing it. I guess you kind of are. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I was gonna say, I got it's a, not like it. <laughs> I have a 135.3, 135.2, 135.6 mm. ball speeds. So that's that goal for that player is when you're off center that it's giving you yeah. that ball speed. So now you're gonna be pin high all the time. It's that consistency. <laughs> wow. That one had a little more to it. That got hit a little harder. That's fun. That is crazy. 202. <laughs> Jeez. Just carry seven irons. <laughs> yeah, you only need, I could be tin cut. You just all you need is seven irons. All you need is seven yeah, irons. Nice, have four different bunch versions. of nice short clubs in your bag. Yeah. You know. Different way to go single length. Yes, a completely different, different models, way. Yeah. That was hit hard. That's, uh, yeah. That's gone. <laughs> This is silly. I'm almost scared to hit this five iron. That's 204. <laughs> it luckily, looks like 204. Luckily, I didn't even bring you a five iron. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't need it. <laughs> I don't know when I did it. <laughs> but uh, cool, it's 204 at 170. Yeah, feet. it's so You're high. landing at 50 degrees. I can't imagine. Like, yeah, the, someone trying to gain speed and a little bit, uh, make golf a little bit easier. And, and like you said, kind of get on a par three and hit a similar golf club. Like, this is it. Because it's not going to, it's not coming out hot where it's going to hit the green and just go forever. It's actually going to land. Yeah, like if you just keep normal... giving speed without moving CG, yeah. then it's just knuckles right. where that right. thing's launching. No, it's crazy. It's like the harder I hit it, the higher it went, and it didn't gain a ton of extra distance enough, gain two, three more yards, but it's going higher, so it's coming down even softer, yep. which is, that's a dream. And that's the thing. We know that this player wants more forgiveness. You yeah. Know? So that's forgiveness, forgiveness of launch also, right? So to help him get that ball in the oh, air. Oh, yeah. It feels so easy to, like, the worst one of his went for me, because obviously this goes a little too high. I try to bring it down, and it's still going up, mm -hmm. which is good. That means for somebody who struggles to get a ball in the air, it's going to be almost hard to hit the low one that they don't like. Yeah, and the size of this um, also helps us, right? So it allows us to have a wider sole, which allows us 
more room to put weight down low. Okay. And then we can move the CG down, and that also helps launch. Picture yeah. that person gets a little steep, throws in the ground. Now you get sold to move through the ground, CG to help it go up. Sure. That's awesome.